Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are learning about artificial intelligence and robotics using NVIDIA's Jetson Nano on the JetBot robotic kit. All right, guys, so let's see where we are. So we are on lesson number 32. Wow, we have reached a long way, guys. So in this lesson, I am going to talk about how do we capture a custom built data to train the neural network within the JetBot, all right? So we will take an example of uh, collision avoidance, which you saw in the previous lesson, and I'm going to get into more details, of course, in this lesson. So if you take a look at my manual, it's pretty much well documented, guys. I had documented everything with the screenshots and you know how to go about it, how to navigate, how to capture, how to upload the data how to train and stuff like that. But nevertheless, I am going to walk you through step by step one at a time. All right, so let's let's get into uh, JetBot. I am going to log into my JetBot uh, browser. Let me just get into the JetBot uh, browser. Hold on a second. All right, there you go. I am going to log in my ip address 192 there you go 168.1.17 your ip address might be different so make a note of it i am logging in there you go so once you are logged in we need to get into jetbot okay jetbot once you go to jetbot directory there are notebooks open the double click and open the notebooks and then you can find collision avoidance. Double click on that. All right, here, this is what we followed in the previous uh, lesson, how to create the trained model. We get this batch file and we got the data sets, right? So uh, in the previous lesson, guys, uh, what we did basically, you took the JetBot in your hand, right, manually, uh, and you kept changing the position to keep clicking uh, the images using the, uh, the using the model uh, using the program which we went through in the previous lessons right so we 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 went through this data collection uh, uh, lesson where basically you use your jetbot and keep changing the position you uh, add, keep clicking the image add those into a free block and add the blocked images where the jetbot is blocked with some object and kind of thing you add those images into your blocked directory that's what we did and that's how we created this data set as a directory and then we what we did was we took the entire data set and then we trained the model using the restnet 18 uh, neural network which is a pre-built neural uh, pre-trained i would say neural network uh, uh, by uh, nvidia it's a pretty good network guys and i have used it a lot of time in different varieties of projects and it worked fantastic uh, now the most important aspect taking a taking pictures that is collecting data using the jetbot camera with the csi camera and physically moving everything around it's a tedious job because each exercise we need at least about 100 images 100 100 to probably more probably 200 images different kind of uh, different sets of data right and it cannot be a random data it has to those pictures should have some meaning right for example this microphone right in front of me should be an object it has to be detected when the jetbot is moving towards the mic it has to stop right it has to stop and reverse back and turn the direction so this has to be classified as an object so the picture should be really clear and this should have some meaning that's what uh, we try to achieve however it's a real painful and tedious task now i'm going to show you an option how what we can do all you need to do is take your cell phone all right take your cell phone uh, go towards the what do you call uh, you know take random pictures of all the objects around your environment you know around your house or office or lab wherever you are practicing this jetbot take keeping take uh, keep taking pictures for example if i take a picture of this mouse and uh, as an object you know uh, as an obstacle towards the jetbot so i'm going to take this image and save it now where i'm going to save it let me show you some details what i did so what we need to do i'll show you step by step first create you know uh, two different folders on your windows machine okay on your windows laptop 
one will be named as blocked and one will be named as free okay that's what you're going to do it's it's a simple uh, folder which you need to create whichever operating system you are using to access your jetbot that is fine just all you need to do is create two different folders on your desktop same it the naming should be same blocked and free so if i open blocked here you can see all this pink color images right which has been which is nothing but which was captured through the csi camera in the jetbot that is what i did and this is how it will look but i also added i took some more pictures these pictures if you can see from img 7811 these are the images which i took through my cell phone right i took the picture of my speakers the home theater system as a block i took a pen stand i took the calendar a small calendar as a blockage uh, shoes which was lying idle some ribbons and you know stuff like that uh, so and, and a water bottle water can and uh, something else there are yeah there are a couple of other images which i took as you know as an object where the jetbot can go in the front and detect as an object and then turn it around similar way what you need to do is create another file called free in this again there are existing images which we captured through your csi camera and jetbot by physically moving the robot right which is painful task what i did was i took a cell phone and i captured random multiple images with free space on the floor like this can you see from img 7845 till 7864 all these images i captured where wherever there is a free space where the jetbot can detect and move or on move in right so those are the images i captured typically the your floor or you know if you have a huge table so those are the areas where which will be considered as a free free space for the jetbot to move around once you do that once you capture from your cell phone and you know pull all those images into uh, the block section and the free section respectively then what you need to do come back to the browser here log into your notebook all right now let me uh, hold on a second let me just show you go to your browser what you need to do is basically uh, let me just move around guys one second this is my jetbot camera so i had placed my jetbot here like this so if you can see behind me i had placed the jetbot on my uh, table which is where i am connected right now while building this video i took the images of this bottle water bottle and the pen stand and there is a calendar here and there is also a couple of other objects behind this right so all these images i took as an obstacle and this particular ground the plain space as a free space so that's that's what i did now we should what we should be doing is open the notebook again all right open the notebook click on the data set okay click on the data set go to data set you can find two other folders blocked and free this i am talking not about uh, your desktop but this is in jupiter labs notebook then go to blocked here you go in block section you can see all these images which we took through csi camera okay if i scroll it down okay can you see it starts from img 7811 18 hours ago so these are the images which i took through my cell phone how you are going to upload all you need to do just click this button right below tabs right you can click this particular button for upload files click on this go to your desktop wherever you shared shared your uh, sorry saved your uh, data sets go to data set this is where i saved it and where are we uploading so we are uploading in block so go to blocked and what you can do is you already have your existing images which you took from uh, csi camera that is fine you can have duplicates it doesn't really matter you can just say control a right control a it selects every image including your cell phone image all right and then click open so i am not going to do that because i already have it and that will take about approximately about uh, about uh, say 2 minutes 2 to 3 minutes uh, it depends upon your internet connection of course 
so you got to wait patiently till you see all the images at the bottom okay now same way go back to data sets open free okay and then you click this upload button here once you upload go to desktop data sets free upload all these images which you took from your cell phone all right and then click open it's going to upload once it's uploads you are all set guys we are ready to rock and roll go back to this main directory go back to jetbot notebooks collision avoidance now let's go back to we finished our data collection part and then we need to we also did the training okay we we got to do the train uh, train uh, tra train the model right so let's look at the train the model i have already done the train and i showed you how to do it it's uh, pretty easy uh, make sure that when you are going into train underscore model uh, underscore restnet do not run this particular code unzip and zip do not zip it all right do not run this code just follow rest of the sections do not run the zip uh, zip and unzip straight away what you can do is now that i have the batch file ready the train model is ready you will get it you know how to look for it in the previous lessons i did show you straight away you can deploy directly into your jetbot so how do we deploy now let's go to live demo underscore restnet 18.ipyny that's what i'm going to do right now okay now let's take a look let me just switch over to my jetbot there is my jetbot behind let me just make it little smaller so that you guys can see the screen i hope you guys can see what's happening okay let me run this code now so i am going to execute i am going to load my trained model one by one let me run the first line of code which is going to initialize your pytorch uh, model and then and then we need to attach we need to load the trained weights which was captured through this particular file all right let's let me run it wait for couple of seconds guys it might take time till you see the mark here the star mark should go away and it should show the serial number as 2 or 3 or 4 there you go now i can see the message all keys matched successfully all right now let's let me go to the next line of code let me select all and this is where we are going to deploy we deploy from cpu to uh, gpu to our uh, main brain of jetson nano let me run this code all right now let's create the wait function which is the processing function for your neural network which is from the input layer to the final output layer includes the middle layer which gets processed all the data gets processed and assign a certain weight and you know uh, all those stuffs so let me just select all and run this this is all this particular code will also create uh, different methods for processing your camera images and map that with your existing uh, images which we trained so that's what it does now let's create some widgets widgets to open up the trailers in python let me run this code there you go the camera is open guys fantastic now what we need to do we need to adjust the speed so speed i will <coughs> try to keep it at 13 okay that's a pretty decent speed if you reduce it below 13 the motor doesn't move actually so keep it at 13 do not increase it guys because it becomes too fast and it will just bang on the object and it doesn't detect properly so keep it at 13 threshold which is really good 13 yeah 13 there you go now once i start running the bot i execute this code i'm going to be back to this particular screen you can see the blocked versus zero here at the bottom which is a free space as and when the robot moves towards the blocked image this particular grid goes up this means that the threshold point in your neural network the robot is able to detect the detect the particular objects 
which we trained in the neural network as a blocked image and it's going to go close by and then take a decision stating that hey i found a blocked image now let me move towards left or right or whichever based on the values which we set set in our python code so let's run this particular code now it's going to start moving no not exactly now let me run the next one control a and then i'm going to attach the process to the camera so that we can see the live neural network what's happening it should start any minute there you go can you see that guys all right fantastic it's detecting the objects can you see it's just moving around and you know it's detecting all the bottles and uh, it's moving towards excellent i am little scared sometime there you go it it it's perfectly working guys it's perfectly the, the the neural network is working fantastic it's amazing in fact i took pictures of all the edges of the table and i tried to put it as a block images and i trained it so that's why it's able to detect the edge <coughs> perfect perfect fantastic this is working great all right let me hold it in my hand now and let me show you what's happening on the browser if you can see let me just scroll it up so here there you go uh if you if you see if you see this particular image guys it, it's transmitting the live image on your jupiter notebook right and now the blocked grid is on the top because i'm holding the jetbot in my hand let me just show you uh one second see i'm i'm holding the jetbot in my hand in front of the screen where i'm sitting so the entire monitor is detected as an object which is just you know uh kind of obstacle is detecting as an obstacle that's why you can see on the screen it shows as the maximum now i'm going to shift the jetbot towards free space towards free space and this blockage should come down it, can you see the threshold it should ideally come down there you go can you see as as i move the bot towards the free space there you go i left the bot is moving now can you see the live image oh it should not fall down i need to be cautious all right i think that's pretty much for this lesson guys so this is how the entire stuff works guys so go ahead and build it enjoy this lesson and this is how the neural network works in a real time robot this is a pretty interesting lesson guys you can build a lot of other things using the same resnet 18 neural network and uh, you know start gathering data and train this bot to do several other aspects right i'm i'm doing a lot of r and d and research and definitely it's it's kind of exciting there are tons of projects which i built Uh, on on the jetbot itself in fact i try to mount a lidar and try to do uh, implement the ros as well and it's it's working really great i'm i'm going to start that series parallelly uh, in next couple of days all right guys do have fun i hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, i'm going to get back to you soon goodbye